Hey everybody, Skid Row Trash here. I'm just inside War Thunder. A couple people have been asking me recently, how do you make custom colored vehicles in this game? And I said, you know what? I'll show you, I guess, because uh, it's not that hard, so I could probably make a video about it. And that's what this thing is. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you how you make custom colors on your guys here. Um, I'll show you the tanks and planes because um, they're both the same pretty much. Let's see, uh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, there's a pink one. <laughs> Anyways, let's find a plane, a brand new plane, and we'll customize it up here. All right, here's one. This one looks okay. We'll do the uh, KI-49, whatever the hell this is, the Japanese one here. So it's a pretty plain-looking skin. It shouldn't be too bad to uh, do something with that. So what you do is you go down here, you open up Customization. It'll pop this up here. And right over here, you'll see user skin. Nothing is here. Disabled. We're going to want to make one of these user skins. So, look for this here. There's a thing that says create a user skin sample files in the game folder. Press that. That'll tell you right here. Created a user skin sample. Here's the name of the file folder in the user skins folder. So, I'll show you how to find that. You'll just want to alt-tab out of your game here. Alright, so here we are. I'm inside my uh, War Thunder... Um, my main War Thunder thing. For me, it's just under C, then Program Files, then War Thunder. So in the main War Thunder folder, you'll see one down here called User Skins. You're going to want to go inside there. I have quite a few you can see here, but um, I usually find if you just go and like sort by date modified, the newest will be at the top. That's what I do. I don't really know if you got Windows 10, if that changes anything up or not. I don't use Windows 10. But anyways, go into that... Uh, the one you're supposed to go in here, and you're going to see all these things. I use the program called the GIMP for all my uh, editing of um, pictures and images and stuff like that. It's really good. I'd probably suggest getting that if you don't have anything else. Otherwise, you might use Photoshop for this. But anyways, so we're going to want to open two of these things. We, we don't want the ones with an N in their name. They're not used for this. I don't exactly know what those are. But anyways, let's load up these uh, images. All right, here we go. I got them both loaded up here. So one is the regular plane. This is how it is normal, and this is the damage model. So after it's getting shot up and stuff like that, if you look in closely here on the uh, damage model, you see these weird looking, um, this like checkerboard design? That's transparency. So these are like sections you'd see through. But anyways, let's get to the editing stuff. That's, oh, that's another reason why these custom skins can only be seen by you. Because if you made this entire thing like this, then your plane would be completely invisible, and the enemies wouldn't be able to see you. So, anyways, let's uh, let's customize the colors on this thing. Is this even the right one? I don't know what's up with that plane, but for some reason, I chose a plane that's not seeming to work properly for this. <laughs> so we're just gonna quickly go back and find a different one here. Ah, okay, here we go. We got this. Let's do this one. So, just as before, export the thing. It's the lag 311. Alright, at the top here, the lag 311. There we go. Okay, this will work easier, because they'll... The other one, for some reason, it was using a different plane model or something. I don't understand it. Anyways, though, you can do a lot of stuff with this, or you can just sort of slap it together. And I kind of like to do sort of something... I like to make it quick, but, you know, try and make it alright at the same time. So, let's just color this one here differently. Basically, you want to do whatever you do here, you want to copy it on here, too. So, we're going to try changing the color of the entire thing all at once. I'm just opening up the hue saturation thing. We're just going to just go along and look at them like this and see if there's anything interesting. You know, we're just quickly changing it, just so I can show you how to do it. Let's choose... Let's choose that. So, we'll go 58 on there. 58 and, uh, why not? 58 and 100, just to show you how to do it. So we went 58, 100 on there. On here, we're going to want to do the same thing. 58. And 100. So you can, like, custom do the wings, like, just select the wings. You can make stickers, do whatever you want, place them on there how you want them. But you can also just change the color of everything all at once, and that sometimes is the fastest way. There's quite a few different things you can do here. This is a nice... This is actually kind of nice. Put that back to zero. We'll go 85 on the shadows. 85 on shadows for color balance. So we'll just copy it here. 
You can do you can do tons of stuff with this. I'm just really slapping it together. All right, now we're just going to go file. We're going to say overwrite. So it's going to overwrite those files. Now we're going to pop back into the game. Boom, here we are. There's our plane. And we're going to click on this. And there's our new uh, user skin. Click on that. And there we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Fantastic. <laughs> so nice and so easy, really. You know, just to give yourself something interesting to look at. Let's quickly do up a tank because they're slightly different. So we'll just do one of those real quick. All right, here's a tank. It's not very special. It looks kind of ugly. Let's see if we can sort of make it look a bit nicer here. Oh, wow. There's a lot of things in here. Um, click on that. We've made the folder. German, PZ, KP, FW, a whole bunch of other letters. So just like before, we switch back over to our folder, our user skins. It's the same folder as the planes. There it is on the top. Okay, now this is a little difficult. What are we doing here? <laughs> is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. I don't think so. That? No. No. It might actually be this one. Let's just try something, just to see. We're just going to paint this whole section pink. Export. And let's just check our tank. Oh, it was that. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Isn't that neat? And we got sample written all over the thing. Why the hell we got sample? We can get rid of that sample garbage quite easily. We just go, um, I don't even know why it says sample. That's pretty dumb, but um, if it wants to say sample, well, that's too bad. Because we're just going to cut and overwrite. <laughs> Let's see if that fixed it. Mm, doesn't seem to. Maybe there was other ones. All right, so that was a little weird why it said sample all over it. I don't know what was up with that. So I thought I would just grab one more tank. We'll just do up one more real quick here. Customize. We're going to make the folder. And we're going to go check it. There it is here. Okay. Camo gray, that must be the one. Okay, so this time we're just gonna do something a little different. Let's put in some kind of like a spiral here, just to make things really different and uh, see how it looks. How about that, how about that? Export. All right. There we go. Rainbow tank. I don't know what the fuck this sample shit is. Why is it saying sample on my nice tank? I don't understand that. Maybe we gotta delete those other ones. Because that sample shit does not look nice on my nice rainbow tank here. Hold on. <laughs> I just deleted them all. Let's see what happens if, like, with them all deleted. Oh, okay. Just delete all of them and you get rid of the sample shit. Look at that. Problem solved. That's actually kind of nice looking. I like that. <laughs> Anyways, that's just a little bit of, you know, how you can do stuff with your tanks. Let's just go do one more quick one with that one. Let's just uh, put a pattern on there and see how it looks. Sometimes there's, you can have patterns and, sh and shit. Here, let's put this uh, parquet flooring pattern on there. Let's see what that looks like. Refresh. There, we got a parquet tank. <laughs> yeah, anyways, that's how you do the tanks. That's how you do the planes. It's really not too hard. It's um, it's kind of fun, and you can give yourself some nice-looking stuff that's pretty unique, especially if you're playing online or whatever, and people are watching you, or, you know, whatever, even if you just get bored of looking at the same old shit. But there you go. Have fun with it. We'll see you later. Have a good one, everybody.